Hello friends, this video is brought to you by www.mwayteaching.com. Let us read the question. Romila went to a stationery shop and purchased two pencils and three razors for rupees nine. Her friend Sonali saw the new variety of pencils and erasers with Romila and she also bought four pencils and six erasers of the same kind for rupees eighteen. Represent this represent the same situation algebraically and graphically. Let us start algebraically. Let the cost of one pencil be rupees eight, and cost of one eraser be rupees y. Then it is given that Romila bought two pencils and three erasers for rupees nine, while Sonali bought four pencils. And six erasers for rupees eighteen. The two equations are the algebraic representation of the situation. Now let us obtain the geometrical representation. Firstly, we will construct two tables. We start with the first equation. Let us solve this further. We get three y. Equal to nine minus two x, y equal to nine minus two x by three. For x equal to zero, we get y equal to three. If we take x equal to three, we get nine minus six, that is three by three. So y comes out to be. One. Similarly, let us form the table for the second equation. Solving the equation further, we get six y equal to eighteen minus four x. Y equal to eighteen minus four x by six. For x equal to zero, y will be three. If we take x equal to three, we get eighteen minus twelve whole by six. So six by six is one. So y comes out to be one. Two points will be more than enough to plot the graph, as we know they are going to be lines. We plot the points zero three. And three one, and join them to get the graph of line two x plus three y equal to nine. Let us now plot the points for the equation four x plus six y equal to eighteen. Again, the points are zero three and three one. That means the graph of line four x plus six y equal to eighteen. Coincide with the graph of two x plus three y equal to nine, and this graph represents the graph of given linear equation in two variables. Also, we can see that this is so because both the equations are equivalent. That means two x plus three y equal to nine can be derived from Four x plus six y equal to eighteen. If we take two common from four x plus six y equal to eighteen, we get two x plus three y equal to nine. So since the equations are equivalent, so they coincide on one another. Let us read the question. Two rails are represented by the equation x plus two y minus four equal to zero and 
टू एक्स प्लस फोर वाई माइनस ट्वेल्व इक्वल टू जीरो रिप्रेजेंट दिस सिचुएशन जोमेट्रिकली सो लेट एस स्टार्ट बाई कंस्ट्रक्टिंग द टेबल्स वी स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन x प्लस टू वाई माइनस फोर इक्वल टू जीरो एम्प्लाइज एक्स प्लस टू वाई इक्वल टू फोर टू वाई इक्वल टू फोर माइनस एक्स एंड वाई इक्वल टू फोर माइनस एक्स बाई टू लेट एस सब्सिट्यूट एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो देन वाई टेक्स द वैल्यू टू और x इक्वल टू फोर वाई टिक्स द वैल्यू जीरो सिमिलरली वी प्रोसीड विद इक्वेशन टू वी गेट फोर वाई इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व माइनस टू एक्स वाई इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व माइनस टू एक्स बाई फोर लेट x इक्वल टू जीरो then y takes the value 3 if we take x equal to 6 y takes the value 0 so now let us plot these tables or the coordinates on the graph we plot the coordinates of the point for the first equation 0 2 and 4 0 and join them we get the graph of x plus 2y minus 4 equal to 0 similarly let us plot the graph of 2x plus 4y minus 12 equal to 0 we observe that the lines do not intersect at any point and they are parallel for then this chapter we will discuss how these representations can be used to look for solution of pair of linear equations